Hey guys, welcome to Vlogoween Day 14. Technically, this is Day 7 for me because my last video I posted for Vlogoween was Day 6, 5, 6, 5, I think. So technically, this is like Day 6 or something. Um, I do want to explain why I haven't posted since last Saturday, I think it is. Somewhere around there, Friday, Saturday. Um, that is because last week I tested positive for COVID, round two, mm, not really. Um, but yeah, I tested positive for COVID, wasn't feeling up to filming, I didn't really have the energy to do anything last Sunday or Monday. Tuesday, I was, I was able to move around more. Like, I was literally so sick, I missed an entire, <laughs> mm, I still have a bit of a cough, so if I cough throughout this video, I'm sorry. But, I literally missed almost an entire week of work. The only day of work, the only day I went to work last week was Saturday morning. Um, I was supposed to work last Monday. Monday, Tuesday? No, not Tuesday. I was supposed to work last Monday, Thursday, Friday. And Saturday but I was so sick I only had get got to work Saturday and I was even supposed to work Saturday night but I tested negative for COVID that last Friday and I was able to go back to work on Saturday I was supposed to work Saturday night but the person I was working with he doesn't usually serve ice cream so if anyone came in for ice cream because I work at a gas station I would have to serve ice cream and I didn't really want to be over at the ice cream and coughing on it, so my boss switched me and one of my other co-workers, so I got to work in the morning instead of in the night, and she worked in the night for me. So, yeah, um, I went back to work Saturday morning, 9 o'clock, and I worked last night and tonight, and now I'm off until Wednesday. Fun. Okay, not Wednesday, Thursday. But anyway... Yeah, that's why I haven't been posting. I just didn't have where I had COVID all week and I was super sick all week. I didn't really have the energy to do anything at all. But I'm back and I'm feeling better. I still have a bit of a cough, but every time I do get sick, that kind of lingers after anyway. So I'm not really worried about that. It's going to go away eventually for sure. Um, but yeah, I still haven't done my bad blood results. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm this consider this like a fresh start. Like, I'm restarting Vlogoween for the rest of the month. So, as long as I am up to it and I don't get sick again, I will be posting from now on every day until Halloween. So, anyway, I'm just going to jump right into my results. Um, I believe I did post my predictions. I was low enough to do that Saturday. Um, I didn't, like, get, get any COVID symptoms until late Saturday night, early Sunday morning is when I actually started getting symptoms and then Saturday or not Saturday Sunday afternoon I tested for COVID sure enough it was positive so I think I was well enough to post Saturday I think I did post Saturday so I did post my predictions I'm pretty sure so first match of the night was the Hell in a Cell match between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre it lasted 31 minutes and 25 seconds with CM Punk winning the next match was for the women's championship it was Nia Jax versus Bailey. It lasted 14 minutes and 10 seconds with Nia Jax winning. I still think that Tiffany Stratton will cash in on Nia. I don't know when, but I think that she will cash in on Nia at some point. Because um, literally, they've been hinting it every single week. Like every pay-per-view, almost every episode of SmackDown. Um, she tried to cash in on Rhea, not Rhea, Liv tonight. But Dominic and Raquel kind of stopped her from doing that. Obviously, no surprise there. Um, the next match of the night was Damian Priest versus Finn, ba Finn Balor, and it lasted 12 minutes and 45 seconds with Damian Priest winning. Next was Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan for the Women's World Championship, with Dominic suspended above the ring in a shark cage. It lasted 14 minutes with Rhea win winning by disqualification, so she didn't win the title. And the reason she was disqualified is because Raquel Rodriguez returned and helped Liv out. So, there's that. 
And the final match of the night was Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes versus the Bloodline, which is Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu. It lasted 25 minutes and 50 seconds with Cody and Roman winning. And Jimmy Uso finally came back. I'm so happy about that. I really hope Jay and Jimmy can come, kind of get back together, if that makes sense. And get back on the same page, if that makes sense. And help Roman out. Because like Jimmy said on SmackDown last Friday night, they need help. Jimmy and Roman need help if they want to, like, stop the whole new bloodline that Solo has going on. So, but yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogoween Day 15. Bye, guys.